if you've ever wondered how to take your Tesla to the next level, stick around because this upgrade is a game changer. All right, welcome back to the channel. Dan here from Run Tesla. So today I have an accessory that's a bit controversial in the Tesla community, and I am talking about the yoke. Now, personally, I love the yoke. I've had a yoke in my old car for uh, at least a year, and I absolutely love it. I love the fit, I love the style, I love the look, and it's much more comfortable to drive. Now, unfortunately, when I upgraded to this brand new Model 3, I couldn't bring the yoke over to this one because I couldn't have heated steering. But the other steering wheel I have, the other yoke I have, didn't have heated steering, and once you have heated steering, you just can't go back. And now I was always a proponent of like, your car is going to be heated when you should walk in the car. That's the beauty of a Tesla. Why do you need heated steering? But yeah, you kind of do need heated steering. It's really nice. Uh, so I reached out to Hancho and they sent me their new version. Now, of course, this new version it does have heated steering, but it's also a little different design than my old one. Uh, it's more akin to the Model S and the X yoke with the kind of like the flat black panel. So let's get right into it. All right, so here is the box. Of course, it's good for your Model 3 and Y yoke steering wheel, and it's inspired by the Model S and the yoke. So let's go ahead and open this up. So I opted for the Napa leather black, kind of normal. So first, oh, cool. So we have some installation gloves, which I love. Gonna use those for sure. Uh, now, uh, installation guide. Now, of course, I'm gonna show you how to install. It's pretty easy. I've done this one many times before, but if you want a more detailed video, uh, definitely check out the Hancho website. They do a good job of their install videos. So it is really, and it comes in this little bag. So here it is. So I can tell right off the bat, like this, it feels so much nicer than your uh, original wheel. So we have a, more of like a flat thing. This, like the finish on this is amazing. Uh, really well crafted. I love this thing. As you can see there, pretty nice looking. Uh, so we have some tools to get in there. And that's it. My old version, this one here, uh, they basically took Tesla parts um, and put it together. While this looks like it's all made by Hancho. So you can see on the back there, there's the Hancho logo. So uh, apparently this is completely designed by Hancho. So what we're gonna do to install, we're gonna change the uh, module out here and then uh, take out a few things from the, your uh, current wheel, put them in there, then gonna put them on the car. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Before I do though, please take a second and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And uh, once the channel grows, you get better content. So it's a win-win for everyone. So definitely hit subscribe button. It takes, it's two seconds. Just click, just click. It's all, it's easy. Just do it. All right, so get through that and we'll be back with the install. All right, so let's go ahead and install this. Now we're gonna need a couple tools that didn't come with the kit. So we're gonna need a trim removal tool, a T20 and T10 screwdriver, those torque screws, I hate them. Uh, you're gonna need a, a socket wrench as well as a H10 socket. Now, you're gonna see the screw in that thing is quite tight. Uh, so this socket wrench isn't uh, doesn't give me enough torque. Uh, so we're gonna MacGyver it and just add a little bar and give it a little more torque. So you may need, if you can get yourself a long, um, socket wrench then you probably have an issue but you will need some torque because that screw is really tight uh, then you're going to need a uh, phillips screwdriver as well as some pliers to just uh, take those clips out all right uh, so let's go ahead and start so first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the car off because what we're doing is we're taking the airbag off and obviously we don't want any explosions uh, so we're going to turn the car off you're going safety menu there i thought it was in service but it's in safety um so obviously we don't want to expose now some people say you have to disconnect the entire uh high voltage battery but that's not needed just power the car off it should be okay now it did come with this little tool i'm gonna try it out if it's rightly you're gonna see these holes depending on what car you have they're either on the side or on the bottom uh they give you this tool right here 
But uh, last time I did this, you need to do it both at the same time. So we'll see, we'll try it out, see how it is. So this side, you can see the airbag just popped out there. You just gotta feel around, you'll see like there's a, you're basically trying to get like this little spring and detach it. So it's a lot easier. So you can see the airbag is clipped in by these two things. This little looks a little different than my other one. So uh, you're gonna see the clip down here. So we're just gonna unclip that. Take some pliers is the easiest way to do it. In the hand video, you'll see that they have like a clip removal tool. It didn't come with it, so I don't know. There you go. So we're gonna set that aside. We're going to take off the left side, which is uh, basically the controls for the steering wheel. Take that out. So I'm also going to need an extender. So stand by. Now we're just going to do this. All right, so we're going to try. We're gonna try my little extender option here. There you go, there you go, no. Yeah, it went. So we just gotta do that. What am I doing? What am I doing? Gloves, Dan. Gloves. Oh no. You get these nice hand show gloves and I don't want to put them on. There you go. There, now I'm ready. Okay, so we're just gonna take this off. Save that for later. So what we're gonna do is take off the steering wheel. Usually you have to rock it, but that came up pretty easily. So then we're gonna take a couple things out of this wheel, put them into the new wheel, mainly the control panel right here, which is blue. It's a little blue box, there's a chip in there. We're gonna need it for the new steering wheel. Uh, so let's go ahead. We got a couple things to uh, unclip. We got unclip these little things. So over here, we're just gonna take a Here, there you go. So we're gonna take this little springy part out. Basically, this is gonna give you access to these uh, T screws. So these black screws over here are T20s. My worry about doing this in the car is that I'll always lose a screw somewhere where I can't find it. So careful, put them in the cup holder. Not gonna lose them. All right, so screws are done. Now we're gonna take the trim pieces off, I believe, just gonna verify. Okay, so we're gonna take a trim piece here. Basically, carefully, carefully, uh, remove this trim piece. It is, it does come off with your hands uh, if you don't use a tool avoid any scratches. I know this part scratches really easily, uh, so just be careful. Okay, so we're connected there. So that's where the heated steering wheel comes. The module here will do your heated steering. Uh, so then we're gonna unclip this module. Like so. So then you're gonna see these two screws here. These are the T20, T10s. We're gonna remove those. Two little screws here to get the control module off. 
that's a tiny screw. Yeah, hold that there. Basically, we need to borrow the chips in here and move it. And because the yoke is much smaller, Pancho designed a Pancho designed a piece like this right here uh, to be able to fit inside the yoke. So this obviously this is original one from Tesla is a little too big. So Hancho designed a new version. Um, so we're just gonna put that aside. So I believe we are done with your original wheel. So we're just gonna set that aside. So next up, we're gonna take this box, control box, and we're gonna have to open it. There's clips uh, here. I'm gonna take a small screwdriver. So there's clips on the outside right here, as well as these ones right here. So we're just gonna unclip those. You're gonna open that, there's your chip. We're gonna need that. We're just gonna carefully take it out. I can see there's clips here. Okay, so we take the chip out. Okay, open it up. Oh, so remember I was talking about a, uh, there's a little tool to take out the plugs off the these things right here. Uh, so it's if you can't find it, it's in your little control box. So look for that. Uh, but anyways, you can use pliers instead. It works the same. Uh, so now we're gonna put our chip into here. Now it is pretty snug. Uh, so be patient. Okay, so I got it in. So that's what it's gonna look like going in. So we're gonna take our no yoke. So in here, you're gonna see the control box. We're just gonna fish that out. So we're gonna plug this control module into here. Now, th this other plug right here, that is your heated steering uh, option. We're just gonna unplug it for now, just so we're able to, it makes it easier to tuck the, uh, the control module into the yoke. There you go. So you're gonna tuck in kind of like, so it almost looks like it's flat like there. So it should, should, should look like that. You can see it tucked underneath there. Now we're gonna redo the steering, the steering option and tuck that. So it should look like that. So now we're gonna basically align the steering wheel back. Now it's, it's, it can only go in one way, so don't worry about it. Okay, I believe that's in. Now we're gonna need our socket. Now, uh, there is a recommended torque setting. Uh, I don't have any, uh, a torque wrench that is able to take that bit. So uh, we're just gonna do it tight. So if you are doing it by yourself, use your, use your uh, knees to just give yourself a little balance there. And I'm also going to use my MacGyver just to get that extra bit of tightness. There you go. That should do it. Just gonna put the air back in, then line it up. So there was a couple differences that my old from my old yoke just with the control module and getting those trim pieces out, which I didn't have to do, so I was a lot used to this, but uh, now it takes you about like, I'd say 10, 15 minutes at that. Uh, it's really simple, so really easy install.
Now, the first time I reviewed the yoke, there's basically three reasons you're going to want to get a yoke. Now, first off, driving is so much more comfortable. I find when my hands are kind of like in the supine position, it's a lot smoother. Uh, you can drive a lot sportier. You have more, it's more, it just feels more responsiveness in terms of uh, driving. One of the standout features and one of the benefits of driving with a yoke is the comfort it brings with autopilot. Obviously, with a round wheel, it's round. It's round. Uh, but it's hard to find a place where you can sit your hands comfortably for a long time. This offers either like that, it's just a better ergonomics, like where your hand is straight like that, as opposed to like this. And then you can put your hands here. It's a lot better with autopilot in terms of like just resting your hand here. It's amazing. Uh, I don't get nags because it kind of registers the nag, uh, the resistance a little bit better than the round wheel. Sometimes with the round wheel, I'll be holding my hand on the steering wheel and I'll still get a nag. Not so much with this thing, because that's what I like, especially with driving with autopilot. All right, and the other thing is obviously aesthetics. Tesla is known for their aesthetics, minimalistic interiors. There's no buttons, just that one side of screen. It looks futuristic. And this yoke just adds to that feeling and atmosphere. So definitely like it for those reasons, as well as uh, front view to the windshield is unobstructed. You don't have to worry about anything. So let's talk craftsmanship. Now this thing is a work of art. It's handcrafted. Uh, it looks identical to the Model S and X yoke. Now, uh, we're talking about the, uh, from lack of stitching on the back, uh, it's kind of like an inseam kind of like that, which is identical to the S and the X. And just the overall look is uh, basically identical to the S and the X. If that's what you want, this is the one to get. Now, as far as the leather goes, it, it feels so smooth. Uh, this is one of the biggest upgrades. Even if you just get like a regular round wheel from a hand show, just the leather upgrade alone is worth it in my opinion. Uh, it feels so much nicer and it's really, really well made. Like uh, the from here, like the going inside the creases here to there, like it's just really well made. All right, I just want to take a second and talk about the two styles available, or the ones that I've had anyways. Uh, so obviously this is the old one. This is the new Model S, X, Project Highland, Cybertruck. They're all kind of moving to that style of trim, and obviously more a little more futuristic and modern looking. Now, this is the old school. A lot of people like this version. Uh, but in terms of other than looks, the only other difference is uh, just the grippiness down here, I find it's a little more rounded, so there's more in your hands, as opposed to where here it's kind of like flat. So it's nice to rest your hand, uh, but just feels a little different. Uh, the other only notice of a difference is the stitching on the back. You can see here there's stitching for the leather, uh, which is just like your round wheel that's in your car. This is more of like it's folded into a seam, uh, so not as nice to feel behind your wheel, but not much of a difference. I prefer the, if I, I wish I had stitching on the back of this one, uh, but again, not a big deal, just a different look and style to it. Anyway, so those are the two versions. There's other versions as well, but those are the two main ones. Uh, so depending on which one you like, like I said, the only difference is kind of like the flatness and the stitching. Now, I'm sure some of you are thinking, don't get a yoke. You can't turn it hand over hand. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I've been driving with this for two years and I've not had any issues where turning or losing the wheel or anything like that. Uh, you drive with this for 15 minutes and you will easily learn and adapt to it. It's so easy. You just grab it from down here and you can still turn. Like it's not an issue. Definitely not. All right. So that concludes my review of the Hancho yoke. Now let's talk about yokes, just in, just in general, just yokes. Uh, you will, if you are thinking about getting a yoke, you will not regret it. I guarantee you, you will love driving with a yoke about Every single person I ask, maybe well, except one, so like I would say like nine out of 10 people, once they drive a yoke, they will not go back to a round wheel. Uh, so that says a lot. So if you're on the edge, if you're thinking of like, is it going to be comfortable? It will be. You will love this. I guarantee you. So if you want to get yourself one of these, head over to the Hancho website. It's autopart.com. I'll have the link below in the description. Use promo code NORMTESLA. The uh, discount code uh, is sometimes variable. Sometimes it'll be 30%, sometimes it'll be 50%, depending on what sale they have on. But use code NORMTESLA to save yourself some money. All right, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe. Like I said before, it really helps the channel grow and helps you get better content. And also hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video when I release, but let's say about every week or so, I'd say. Uh, so you don't want to miss any, hit notification bell, subscribe, like, do all the fun stuff, and also leave comments what you think if you have a yoke or if you're considering a yoke. Uh, anyways, thanks again for watching, and drive safe, drive electric, we'll see you next week. So definitely a fan of the yoke for that reason. Uh, also, 
better view out of the front door. There's nothing obstructing it. Front door, front window. Please, yokes go. You will not regret. So if you want to get yourself, so if you want to get yourself some of the, and hit that notification bell so you don't get. The other one. All right, so I just, all right, so I just want to take a second and compare the two yokes that I've had. This is more to uh, what the new. Uh, <laughs> I find this is more a bit of a, a round thing, so there's it's more meat into your hands. So that <laughs> ah. we'll get past this. We'll get past this. And the other thing is, of course, aesthetics. Tesla is known for their 